Are you into organic, biodynamic and natural wines, but you don't know the difference between them? I'm here to help! An organic wine is a wine with a specific certification that has slightly different rules according to the country of production. Generically though, an organic vineyard must be farmed using natural practices only. And grapes grown with no synthetic pesticides and herbicides, chemical fertilizers and other artificial substances. During winemaking, a very small amount of sulfur dioxide is allowed in Europe, while in US added sulfites are not permitted. Important to know though that nowadays a lot of wineries practice organic viticulture and winemaking without pursuing any certification. Always worth to double check with the producer about this. Biodynamic practices are a lot more complex. They derive from the theory of the Austrian spiritualist and philosopher Rudolf Steiner. They are based on the belief that farming must harmonize with the spiritual forces of the universe, using an ethical and ecological approach to agriculture. Of course, no chemical substances are allowed for the sake of soil fertility and the balance of the whole ecosystem. Biodynamic farms follow a street calendar that identifies the best days for pruning and harvesting according to the phases of the moon. Esoteric rituals are normal practice. Cow manure is placed into a cow horn and buried during winter, then mixed with 35 liters of water and stirred for one hour and then sprayed over the vineyards during spring. But regardless of how odd this may sound, the intense attention and respect that biodynamic farmers pay in the vineyard and its surrounding gives undeniably great results. Last but not least, natural wines. Natural wine is not a legal definition, but refers to all wine made with minimal intervention. No pesticides, no chemicals, no sulfites, no additives, no cultured yeasts, no filtration, no clarification. Just straight alcoholic fermentation. Now, do these wines always taste good? No, often this lack of intervention results in a bacterial growth or unwanted fermentation that gives to the wine a weird taste. But you can also find surprising exceptions. Natural wine that can be lively and exciting if nature decides to be kind with them. I'm sure at this point you're wondering, are hangovers better with organic, biodynamic and natural wines? Well, I have a good news and a bad news for you. Bad news is that if you drink too much wine, hangover is unavoidable. <laughs> but good news is that introducing into your body fewer or no chemical substances can make the difference. <laughs>